everybody, welcome back to another video on Juice and Toya. Hey, welcome back. Today we're taking you guys through a 30 minute full body dumbbell workout, yes. all right? So more specifically today, we're gonna focus on more beginner level strength exercises. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So if you're someone who's just beginning with strength training or learning how to use dumbbells or weights, this is a great workout for you to start off with. We're gonna give you some audio cues throughout the workout to help you with the form and engaging the proper muscles, yes. okay? So all you'll need for this workout is a pair of dumbbells. For reference, I'll be using a pair of 10 pound dumbbells. And I'll be using a pair of 20 pound dumbbells, all right? So for the workout format, we're gonna split this workout into two different sets. Each set will have 13 different exercises, starting with the lower body. So we're gonna have five lower body exercises, five upper body, and then three core abs exercises, all yep. right? We're going 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest throughout the entire workout. But between those two sets, we'll give you a 60 second break to grab a drink, take a break, and get ready for the next set that's coming up, oh, yeah. all right? So like she said, there will be audio cues throughout the workout to make sure your form is correct and you're feeling the workout in the right areas. But there are some exercises that may be a little bit more difficult, so you can follow me for modifications. Exactly. So this is a full body workout, so we're gonna take you guys through a nice little warm up. Oh, yeah. Following the warm up, we're gonna get right into it. So All grab right. your mats, grab your weights, hey. and let's get to work. Okay, first off, we're starting with front squats. You want to keep the weight nice and tight to your body. You have your feet just outside of your hips and you'll want to sit as low as you can here. A big key to keep the tension out of your knees is to keep your weight in your heels. All right, let's start this workout out strong.
All right, next up we have the suitcase deadlift. So we're gonna start with our feet hip distance apart and the weights at our sides. As you hinge back from your hips, you're gonna put all the weight into your heels to feel tension in your glutes and hamstrings. As you drive up, you're gonna keep your core nice and tight to protect your lower back. Next up, we have alternating front lunges. You'll want to step forward and again, keep the emphasis of your weight in your heels. Your knees should be at about 90 degrees as you drop that back knee as far as you can to the floor. If this is too difficult, you can follow me in a split squat by dropping that knee as far as you can. All right, if you're following the split squat for the modification, we're gonna switch here in three seconds. Next up is an alternating single leg deadlift. So just like the regular deadlift, we're gonna hinge from the hips, weight is back in our heels, and we're gonna feel that tension in our glutes and hamstrings. You're gonna elevate the opposite leg off the ground, keeping the toes pointing towards the ground, and engage your core as you drive up to protect your lower back. If you have trouble with balance, you can follow Juice for a modification and tap that toe to the ground. Next up, we're gonna get in that loaded glute bridge position. We'll have our heels tucked toward our body and then we're gonna lay that weight flat across our hips. We'll drive through our heels and squeeze our glutes at the top. If this is too difficult, you can take the weight off and just do this body weight. Next up, we have a neutral grip chest press. So we're gonna start lying on our back, elbows close to your body and palms facing each other. You're gonna press the dumbbell straight up, lock the elbows and squeeze at the chest. You're gonna feel this in your chest muscles, but also in your triceps.
Next up, we're gonna do a neutral grip row. We're gonna get into that loaded deadlift position. Keep the weight into your heels so that your hips and glutes are nice and loaded. Keep your core engaged so that your back is flat. And then we're gonna drive that weight up as we squeeze our shoulder blades together. You should feel this exercise in your middle back and biceps. Next up, we have a neutral grip shoulder press. So you're gonna start with the elbows nice and tight and palms facing each other. You're gonna press the dumbbell straight up, lock the elbows, and then return to the starting position, keeping the elbows tight on the way down as well. Keep your core nice and tight so your rib cage doesn't flare out and squeeze those glutes to protect your lower back. Next up, we have hammer curls. We're gonna get those weights into a neutral position. We're gonna keep those elbows nice and tight as we engage our biceps and drive the weight up to our shoulders. We're gonna return back down, keep those biceps engaged, but you don't want to swing the weight at the bottom of the movement. Next up, we have a French press. So we're gonna use a single dumbbell here. We're going to grab the dumbbell by the head, keeping one hand on top of the other, and you're going to press the dumbbell all the way up, locking your elbows, and you should feel your triceps here. But you wanna make sure to keep your rib cage pulled down and core engaged to protect your lower back. Next, we have a loaded sit-up. We're gonna get into that sit-up position, keeping the weight nice and close to our body. We're gonna drive up and engage our core through that sit-up. If you find that these are too difficult, you can place the weight by your side and do regular sit-ups, or you can do loaded crunches as a modification.
Next, we have a plank pull through. So we're gonna start in a plank position with the dumbbell behind either palm and reach that opposite hand across to pull the dumbbell across the body. You're gonna keep your core nice and engaged and the hips neutral facing the ground. If you find it's a little too difficult keeping your hips down, you can modify this by placing your knees on the ground. Next up, we have a loaded side plank. So we're gonna get into that side plank position by stacking our feet on top of each other and your elbow should be right underneath your shoulder. You're gonna keep your hips nice and high with that weight right over the shoulders. If you find that this is too difficult on your core and your obliques or your upper body, you can drop your knees to the floor and keep your hips high. All right guys, in about five seconds, we're gonna do a quick switch to the other side. All right guys, great job on that first half. We're gonna use this time now to grab a drink, grab a towel and take a little break before we move on to the second half. So for the second half of the workout, we have a similar format but different variations of each exercise. So you're gonna notice some of the similar cues from the first half so that you can use those cues to focus on the form, practice that form and practice on engaging the correct muscles through each exercise. First up, we have a drop squat. We'll have our feet just outside of our hips with the weights in between our legs. We're gonna keep the weight into our heels, sit as low as you can, but keep your chest as tall as you can at the bottom of the movement. You'll squeeze your glutes at the top, and you should feel this in your glutes, your hamstrings, and your quads. All right, let's finish strong. Next up, we have a front-loaded deadlift. We're gonna start by having our feet hip distance apart. We're gonna hinge at the hips, keeping the weight back into the heels and the tension in our glutes and hamstrings. You're gonna drive up, but keep that core engaged so you protect your lower back. You should feel this in your glutes and hamstrings. Next up, we have an alternating reverse lunge. 
So we'll take a big step back while keeping that front knee at 90 degrees while driving that back knee as far as we can to the floor. We'll keep the weight into the heels as we drive up. And if you find that this is too difficult, you can repeat that split squat by driving that knee as far as you can to the ground. If you're following the modification on the split squat, we're going to switch in about five seconds. Next up is a staggered stance deadlift. You're gonna start with your feet hip distance apart with your right toe behind your left heel. You're gonna hinge back in the hips, keeping all the weight back in the heels and the tension in the glutes and hamstrings. Again, you wanna keep your core nice and tight here to protect your lower back and you should feel your glutes and your hamstrings. All right guys, in about five seconds, we're gonna switch and bring that left foot forward. Next up, we have a loaded single leg glute bridge. So we're gonna get back into that glute bridge position with the weight across our hips. We're gonna drive through the heels as we lift our hips up with one leg to the sky. We'll alternate sides, but if you find that this is too difficult, again, you can drop one weight to the ground and do this body weight. Next up is a wide grip chest press. So we're gonna start on our backs with the elbows wide and we're gonna press the dumbbells all the way to the top, lock out the elbows and squeeze your chest at the top. Again here, similar to the neutral grip chest press, you should feel your chest and your triceps. Next up, we have a wide grip row. So we're gonna get back into that loaded deadlift position with our weight in our heels. Our glutes should be loaded and our core nice and tight to keep our back flat. We're gonna drive those elbows away from our body, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And you should feel your middle back and your biceps here.
Next up, we have a dumbbell military press. So we're gonna start with the elbows wide and press the dumbbells all the way up overhead, locking out at the top, and then bringing them back down, keeping the elbows wide. As you press up, you wanna keep that rib cage pulled down and core engaged to help protect your lower back. Next up, we have supine curls. So we're gonna have our palms facing the sky. We're gonna engage our biceps and drive that weight all the way up to the shoulders. You wanna control the weight down, and just like those hammer curls, you don't wanna swing or use your hips to get the weight up. Next up, we have a dumbbell skull crusher, and we're only gonna use one dumbbell here, holding the dumbbell at both heads. You're gonna keep your elbows in a fixed position and lower that dumbbell towards your head. Keep your elbows fixed and tight as you press the dumbbell all the way up, lock out at the top, and you should feel your triceps. Next up, we have a overhead sit-up. So we're gonna get back into that sit-up position, starting with the dumbbell right over our eyes. We're gonna engage the core as we sit up while keeping that dumbbell driven overhead. If you find that these are too difficult, you can do a dumbbell crunch as a modification, but you should feel this in your abs and your shoulders. All right, next up we have an alternating renegade row. So first we'll start in a plank position with a dumbbell behind either hand. We'll pull with the opposite arm, driving the elbow up as far as we can. The big key here is keeping those hips flat. That's gonna make sure your abs are engaged and you'll also feel your biceps and back here.
All right, guys, last exercise. We're gonna do a side plank raise. So we're gonna get back into that side plank position, stack those feet, elbows underneath the shoulders. We're gonna drop that weight to the floor, open up and drive it to the sky. Again, if you find that this is too difficult, just drop those knees to the ground and make sure you keep your hips high. guys in about five seconds we're going to do a quick switch to the other side Right, guys so that's a wrap for the 30 minute beginner dumbbell oh, workout yeah. hopefully you guys enjoyed it and again we gave you guys those cues and tips throughout to help with some of the form mm -hmm. and proper muscle engagement yes. so this is a workout that you can do if you just want to go over some of those strength movements those basic movements mm -hmm. again or a workout you can continue to repeat a few times every week to get good at these strength movements yes. so you can progress and move on to some of those more advanced strength exercises exactly and we gave you those audio cues throughout the workout but if you still still found that some of the movements were confusing or you just don't know where to feel certain exercises, drop a question down in the comments and we'll get back to you with some answers, all right? Exactly. We got you. All right, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
Also, we have other workouts on the channel. If you feel good about this workout, you wanna to graduate to a more intense workout, we got that on the channel, so go yep. check those out. If you want more content from us, follow us on the gram at Juicy Texas. At Toya Sherelle. Oh yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this workout. Oh, yeah. We'll see you guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please because, hit the subscribe because, button. Thank you, we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, all right, now you can now go. Now you can go. You can go. See you at the next one. <laughs>